Today I'm gonna make a video of how to replace the thermocouple on these heaters. This heater is working, this heater is not. The reason I think it's the thermocouple is because the wiring down here is correct. So, I just did a replacement on heaters, on the jaws. You can check out that video. And everything is working. The heaters are properly set to temperature, just where they should be. But this one is not working. It's reading at 660. So, this one's hot, because it's working correctly. This one is cold, because the thermocouple is not working correctly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open this up. What we're gonna need is a couple of Allen wrenches. Just break this loose real quick. Sometimes these are a little tricky to remove. So once you remove the Allen wrench screws, you can loosen up these flathead ones and then use a flathead to pry it open, just like so, to the other side. Little by little, it should be coming out. So in here, we have our heater and our thermocouple. I'm thinking our thermocouple might be bad. Heater's still not working. Uh, so what we're gonna do from this point on is safety first. Turn off the electrical. What we're gonna do now is remove this thermocouple. Just pry it from there. All right, we're gonna shove that down there. We're gonna go down here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen these up. Actually, I'm sorry, that's the heater. The thermocouple one. This one here. The way you know which one's the thermocouple is it has this blue and red wire. So what we're gonna do is just take these off. And we're just going to pull the thermocouple down. There it is. So, what we're going to do now. grab the new one and the old one grab our voltmeter and ohm it out all right so we have our ohm reader here and we're gonna test it out real quick this is the old one it's a little hard to do it single-handed So it's ohming out at 100. all over the place. It's ohming out. It's gonna probably eventually ohm out to zero. So let's see, let's check this new one out. right away so I think maybe this one might be bad this one has resistance see it's staying up there so let's put this one in and give it a try all right so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna do it from the top down 
We're gonna put in our wires and slide them all the way down in there. Lock our thumb couple in place. I need to pry it down a little bit. All right, there it is. I used the uh, butt of the screwdriver to tap it in. So now let's go ahead and wire it down there. All right, so we don't need all this access, excessive cable hanging, so we're just gonna chop some off. Just give it enough so you're able to work with. So we're just gonna chop this here, strip these wires back, and put some connectors on it, and it should be ready to go. Okay, so to connect these thermocouples, you gotta make sure you remember which way you connect them uh, because it will, it will either go one of both ways, temperature up or temperature down. And the way it was, it was the red here and the blue over here. And here are the connectors I put on. Blue to coordinate the blue, the red to coordinate the red. So those just go up here and up here. We put in our little nuts and we're gonna give it a try. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Wait for it to boot up. Go to escape, go to heating. And there it is. It's up and running. It was the thermal couple that was bad. Now it's reading temperature. It should be getting freaking hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh look, you can see the steam coming out of my gloves. <laughs> it's freaking hot. Oh fuck, it's still hot. So that's how you change the thermocouple. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.